right, ready to go. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of NBL. You got your boy Quan and Easy E. We finna drop out some heavy, hot topics for y'all today, man. Some heavy discussions, bro. What you got for him? All right, man. Y'all already know, man. We back with another episode, better than ever. This our what eighth or ninth video. We keeping them coming, hot off the eighth. press, and like it is what it is, bro. It was this video, right? I seen circulating the internet with a school in Oklahoma, and they had these students, right? And they facing backlash because they had the students do a challenge. It was a fundraiser, right? And they had to lick peanut butter off of the staff's feet. Really, they don't know whether it was the staff or other students, but they had a competition. Mm. Where the kids had to get on their stomach, on their hands and knees, on the ground, and suck the peanut butter off the toes of the other people. And that was a challenge inside the school for a fundraiser. Yeah. What you think about that, bro? That's crazy. Hmm. Man, that's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> what I you seen did that um, when I was scrolling. I seen that when I was scrolling the day at work. But um, that's crazy, bro. I was trying to see who, why did, what, it was elementary school, though, right? Elementary mm-hmm. school, they doing mm-hmm. that. I don't give it. No, no, bro. There was ninth and twelfth graders. It was a high school, bro. Yes, it said nah, ninth to twelfth. Nah, I it promise ain't the school. you, school. It's the kids. I'm sorry, because it was the ninth and tenth grade. We not doing that shit. You got, I don't know where the fuck them kids from. Where they from? Oklahoma. Oklahoma. It was. Nah, it's it's something up with the kids. I don't they know what said, they putting in the food. If the kids come up, the kids. They said that nah. they don't know whether the kids were licking the peanut butter off of the faculty. Or what? Or was it other students they were licking the um, peanut butter off their feet? Like, they don't know which one it was. You know what I'm really saying? Now, I ain't gonna that's lie. Like, listen, lie. if it's student on student, that's still crazy. But if it's student on faculty, bro, that is a different level, bro. Like, I'm for, like, let's be real, bro. That's a, that's a whole different level. Kids on kids, I can understand. This shit's still crazy as hell. Now. Don't get me wrong, but at least it's kids, kids, adult kids doing that to adults is like another level, bro. That's crazy. I ain't gonna lie, you right. Kids on kids on um, faculty, like teachers and shit. That's, yeah, that's wild. The kids on kids, it ain't as wild, but it's they still like they they still wild. they still they still can get in trouble, but they still can shape it as oh, it was just a friendly competition. But if you do kids on adults, you can't you can't skate that no type of way. It ain't no way to get out of that. Quick question: now, This this didn't even matter. It don't matter if they was all girls, but I gotta ask: Was they all girls and boys? Was doing nah, it? it was a mixture of girls and boys. I'm saying boys weren't doing it on boys' toes, though, right? I'm just trying to figure this out. <laughs> that yeah. shit was going on, man. It's wild. That's crazy. They need to shut that fucking school down. That what people were saying That's in the comments. Like, they said they need to shut that shit down. Shut that shit down. <laughs> I don't get it. And then they walking around in them stank-ass shoes all day. Your feet be stank in high school. You ain't got no... Come on, man. That's nasty as fuck. Man, it's crazy, though. I don't know what people be doing. Shut the whole high school down, man. Send them all. Split the kids up. That's that's all that what you say. Like I just said, bro, that shit wild. That's my child, boy. I be going to find on every staff member. Every time I see one, they're popping off. Really, I like. can't get mad at the staff member. We we raised our child. Why the hell you can't? Why the hell, hell you can't? Right because so, why the, our child wouldn't even do that. Our child ain't put No, I understand that, but that's still, some, bro, these yeah, are some wild adults shit. that are in charge. And they coercing these kids to do that shit. Oh, no, Whether, you know what I'm saying? They definitely need to be, they need to be kicked in their ass. But I'm saying, this, my child ain't finna do no shit like that. Even to be laughing at them niggas, y'all some wild boys. That was a crazy niggas story. Niggas got them peanut butt off some stank ass feet. They crazy as hell, man. <laughs> they can hide that shit. What else you got for us, bro? You got something else you seen today? Shit, like shit, still sticking with the kids topic. To um, it was another Go topic, ahead. right? You seen that shit where the lady was driving on the expressway in Georgia with a, with a child in the trunk ho- holding a baby carriage. You seen that shit? That, that shit was that shit was real. I think, bro, I it was fake. she got arrested. They they tracked her down and she got arrested, bro. She basically, in a black car, right? It was a black car. It was a black challenger. She had she had a bassinet. She just I purchased. I seen it, and the trunk was up, and the baby was in the trunk. Did she not have enough room in the car? No, no, yeah, she didn't have enough room in the back seat, so she put it in the trunk, so she couldn't close the trunk. So she let down the back seat. This this what she told the police. She let down the back seat and let Jit, like, basically hold the bassinet from sitting in the back seat, leaning through the back, like, through the back of the trunk. She said only half of his body was in the trunk. That was any better. Man, listen, they did a video. <laughs> I seen the whole Jit face looking out the Jit lift his head up. Now, look, the fuck the fuck, she could have told him, listen, do not go all the way back there. Do not lift your head out the back. She could have told him. But Jit just being so, he being a kid. You can't blame him. He, he looking nosy. like, Jit, like he's being nosy and shit. Like and then he see the camera. Up. He even look at the camera dead in the face. Yeah, like, so they, they know, tried I don't want to get a child took it, but at the same time, that's wild, man. You can't put your child in the trunk. 
They tried to down, make it happen. Uh, with the cameras and arrested her. But I don't think she got nothing major, but that shit crazy. Though. <laughs> the only time we got in the truck is when we was going to the movie theaters back in the day. The um, or the, the, the fucking, fo- or the theater. fucking, or the or game, or football game, or some shit. Oh, get you and you, hey, get in the truck for uh, for then a couple everybody of seconds. Ass, then everybody has get in what you call it in the back of the truck. I'm talking about in like the, back of the, the truck. truck. And lay down. <laughs> That's it, but you want to do it? Ain't no, hey, we finna go to the grocery store and. There's too many groceries in the car. You got to get in the trunk. Nah, I ain't nothing. Or not, oh, now nah, you gonna put them in the trunk. The other trunk different. The one that lift up. You know what I'm talking about? The one that like on the SUV or on the van. Oh yeah, no, up. that's that's because you inside. You still inside. You still inside. You just in a trunk with no air. So yeah, that's exactly. totally that different. Other shit different. And then she had the shit up. So imagine he if it was an accident. He could have fell out. That's dangerous. That's a hazard. Yeah, that I understand why they, why they why they took uh, took their actions on her like that. Then they said the it was. Because- it was because of social media that they found out. They found out. That's no, I crazy. believe them because of social media. If it was social media, they would never found out. I believe that. Oh, that's crazy. What else you got for us? Are you are you want me to you want me to bring yeah, something bro, up? Bro, I got bro, something. Bro. I got some for us, bro. I got about I got about two or three of them shits though. Let me see. Oh, so I had um seen something today about um it was uh Desi Banks, but it's just something that I wanted to get your um opinion on. Ain't they gonna get my my opinion? There's Daisy Banks, he was um up and coming comedian. And um he was living with his lady and he mm. she was paying all the bills. And he would just he, he wasn't really paying nothing because he trying to get um his his um acting career and him being a comedian, stand up comedian and shit together. She got tired of his ass, basically told him he gotta go. She kicked him out. So right. on some shit. She kicked him out and I think a year later he he popped. And he basically she seen him. She wanted him back. He was like, nah, I'm straight. You feel me? So what you think, bro? Do you think it's I don't want to say it, it's not right. I ain't gonna say it's um it's not it's not right for her to kick him out because women don't want to pay all the bills. Women want the man to pay the bill when he in the house. But if you tell her, hold on, I got something cooking up and I'm trying to be this and that, and she not really hearing that because she's looking at them bills right that time, and she tell you to me, I feel like that's fucked up. But I ain't saying I ain't saying um keep niggas that's really not doing nothing. Like he just mm-hmm. not really not doing nothing. You could kick that nigga out that ain't got shit going on. But if you see a nigga got shit going on, I feel like you can hang in there with a nigga. That's how I feel like. And then feel they feel like, like they feel like you supposed <laughs> to take them back after they kid after they kid you to the curb. Once they see you successful, then they come back like, hey, like, nah, ain't no hey friend. Nah, that's it. This is how I feel about the situation. Either she gonna hang with it, she gonna hang in there with him. Like, you hung in there with him for the time y'all was together, right? While he was on the come up. You see, he wasn't, I guess he wasn't coming along quick enough for you to build star, probably weighing on her. Which you got, you got to kind of understand her side too, because yeah. maybe on time is weighing on her, like she stressed out, she tired. I'm saying I understand that side too, but then mm-hmm. once you kick him out and you make that decision, you got to stand on that because now yeah, if you do blow up, you can't come crawling back saying, "Oh, I want you back now because you done made it." Either you gonna stick in there or you or you just gonna make your decision to just be like, "No, nah, I'm good because this shit ain't working out." I feel like it's it's it's, side, it's two sides to the story, but you got to stand on your side once you pick your side. You hear me? Because like, he not wrong for not taking her back, and she not wrong for kicking him out. That's how I see it. That's what I see it. He, I, I feel like she ain't wrong, but you just can't you can't expect the nigga to take you back. But let's, uh, that's what I'm saying. Let's, Cause let's be real. If you was paying all the bills, car, the note, the the, the the rent, the light bill, the water bill, I'm talking about you struggling. I'm talking about you you, you got to borrow money from him, that to Peter, to rob Peter, to pay Paul, all that. And this girl mm. just saying, "Wait, baby, I'm finna blow up. I'm finna blow up with my lashes. Wait, I'm finna blow up in this year, two years." <laughs> Man, you gonna get tired of that shit, but like real shit. Hey, not with the lashes though. I'm just saying, any, not like, with just the any little business though, bro. Like, but still, you can't say what that's her business. You gotta support it or not. You can't do that because yeah. like, what if you leave yeah. or you kick her out because you saying, oh, lashes ain't gonna do nothing. Now she go out to be the hey, best. I'm, like, I'm standing ever. on that though. I ain't. You gotta stand on it. Hey, the thing, the thing. Look, this is the thing about it too, though, because we get into a whole discussion. We get into a whole discussion about this. This is the thing about it. Niggas don't look for women to really do shit much. Like her just being nothing, really, she can show love effort. We still to stick around. You don't look for women to do much. Women look for us to do the the utmost. You feel me? Cause if you that she feel like you that nigga, he like you. She wants you to do the utmost. It's different for us. We could get a girl that work at Burger King. She don't give a fuck. She only she working. Cause we not looking in their pockets. We not yeah. in they, we not tapping in their pockets. Women more so tap into our pockets. They want us to be doing this and that. And the third, a woman, a woman ain't got to do shit, to be honest, bro. But do a little work, obviously. But as long as she working, we ain't tripping. No, that's real, though. It, but that's just like... That, that's how I feel. 
Yeah, that, that's just like she got to understand this too. This man was like, he wasn't working or whatever, and you was dealing with that and watching him on the come up. Now, say if he had like a little hustle or something on the side, right? Would she have stayed? Would that have been enough, or was it really just you want? I'm saying, was it was it really that? You feel me? Because he could have had a little hustle on the side, maybe bringing in maybe two hundred dollars a week or something like. That. You know what I'm saying? Just pick, pick, take one bill off her back. Would she have stayed, or was it more to it? Like because that's another thing. You don't know if she had somebody else she liked it at the time. It could have been a lot of shit. Wanted, like, another nigga say he was gonna pay the bills. When it comes to that shit, you know, let me get real agitated around that motherfucker. But trust me, it's a lot. It's a lot. Listen, it, I feel like it's a lot more factors into play than just, oh, he taking too long to come up. Bye, you gotta go. It's probably other. He probably was cheating too. He probably was like, damn, I'm wait, I'm, I'm holding you down. <laughs> and damn, and you cheating? He cheating <laughs> then. then they definitely gonna move on. You know, you know, like, be real now. You me? Hey, you can't, you you can't be cheating then and not paying no bills. Exactly. That's, that's why. <laughs> that hey, that's why. <laughs> Girl, he cheating. He ain't paying no bills. You gotta get yeah. him the fuck out of yeah. here. Yeah, now you got to go, but I yeah, now fuck that. Hey, this shit got me thinking about what Mike Epps said on this stand up. You talking about so a nigga that don't pay no bills, they get females real mad when they come to the house. They see a nigga sitting on the couch, wiggling his toes, eating some tater <laughs> chips. I mean, you just slaying all day. And he like, babe, how is your day at work? <laughs> fuck oh, you, bitch, bitch, ready to go on. Be ready to snap on your ass, boy. You talk some a nigga, a nigga gotta walk light around the house. You can't even walk hard. You gotta walk light around that bitch. <laughs> Baby, you want me to take the garbage out? You need me to do something? Hey, dog. Nah, but, uh, speaking on that shit, right? On some, let me let me switch it up, right? I was um watching this shit and it was on Twitter. I was on Twitter. I had to switch it up. There's a man. He was in the uh, club, right? I guess he got into a little altercation with this female. So she had to do the drink. You know how females get mad and they throw the drink on you and walk off like it's like you know what I'm saying. The dude, no. what you say? No, I said, she threw the drink on and walked off. The dude, you, you ain't your your first reaction probably be like, like, nah, I know this bitch ain't just trying me. So he was like that. Then she went and sat down back at the bar with her homegirl, like dog cool, right? Dog grabbed somebody drink mm -hmm. on the table. He walked over there. He tapped on the shoulder. He whispered something in the ear. Mm -hmm. Dumped the whole drink right on top of her head, and then walked off. Dog ain't wrong. <clears throat> yeah, dog ain't wrong for that. Exactly. That was people saying. So drinking, you, you throw a drink in my face in front of everybody, and you and you just go sit down like that's normal. Nah, I I, I agree with him on that. That's what I'm saying he ain't hit her. He, he just he just gave her the same energy. He just, he just gave her the same energy. You pour a drink on me, you get a drink pulled on you. Now I can yeah. see if he slapped her on the ass or did some disrespectful shit, but nah, he didn't do speak, nothing. And I was just gonna tell you that. Speaking of slapping, it was another incident with a dude in the airport. And he got into it with this white lady. It was a black dude, kind of big, too. He got into it with this white lady, right? So some some people got involved. People getting in between to separate them. She felt bold. So she reached around the dude and pop, slapped the shit out Buddy. Slap his ass. Man, that man went off like a D-lineman getting through Buddy the man. He pushed him all out the way. Oh, you seen that? He grabbed him top of uh, He done hit ass. Brrr, like, I'm like, shit, he ain't wrong hit ass. Because you can't, get, like I say, bro, if you can hit, you can get hit, bro. I don't care what the gender is, bro. It's just that simple. I ain't gonna lie, who the dude was that was holding him back though? It was just a random dude, just separate them. And she went reached around him and hit Buddy, and then Buddy hit her back. But she was trying to get to his ass, boy. I ain't gonna his ass, and then tried to go behind Buddy. Like, nah, I hate, I hate when the females do that shit. They try to, they, they be rah, 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 rah. And then as soon as somebody comes separate, you wanna hit me and think I'm not supposed to hit you back. Why, cause I'm a dude, or why, cause it, nah, then you tell the other niggas, hey, what? Cause you a dude. You telling the other niggas around, like, what? You get into it, you wanna get into it, you get into it too. Like, like checking them too, like boy, they do that. But that, but that's what people were saying. <laughs> they said she had to be wrong because nobody ain't check him about it or try to. You feel me? Because they knew she was wrong to hit him first. Nah, yeah, you just can't slap a nigga for no reason. And then expect a nigga not to do nothing. Like a nigga, a, a nigga gotta put hands on you. Slap, ain't you probably slap nigga hard as fuck too. Like I said, remote of the story. If you hit, you can get hit. Women and you ladies, get hit you back. hit somebody. You 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 that you I mean you can get hit. I mean it's just fair game, like it's part of the game. She was hey, she was running she was running for her life though, I ain't gonna lie. Nah, she was, but she was trying to get up out of there. I'm she was trying to get she ain't want she ain't want no part of that nigga, man. She was like, <laughs> damn, I made a mistake. I should never hit this nigga. That boy man. like a D lineman in that damn video. Hey, hey man, I seen something on TikTok. I don't know if you seen this shit. It just was, was a funny meme with Charleston White, right? This shit was on um, the nigga. You know he um chill with the nigga Ada Ross. The um what he is a Twitch person. What he is yeah, one of them yeah. streamers like Kai. Mm -hmm. So he was chilling with Ada. I mean, he was Scott. He was like chatting with Ada Ross like this on the um, Facetime. 
he up there talking to him. He said something to make him laugh. Hey, then Ross talking about something. He laughed and talking about something. Oh, stop. Hey, that's the same. Man, what? Charles the White. Charles the White was like this. And then he would say, oh, stop. He said, oh, stop. He would laugh. He would laugh. And then he stopped and said, what? What happened? What I did? Charles the White told something. What I told you about that shit, man? What the fuck you got going on? Hey, yeah, Ross always on hey, that Hey, shit. Then Ross approved. Yeah, I don't know if that nigga gay or that nigga just play like that, bro. I, I ain't know. gonna lie. I ain't got no. I ain't got no head against Aiden Ross, but if I had a choice, I'd rather watch Kai, bro. I'm, I'm sorry. I can't watch Aiden Ross. Kai. Damn, I ain't. I definitely Aiden watch Aiden Ross. Aiden, like them, oh, Aiden, Aiden Ross Kai. like them young, them young, them real young boy. Them real, yeah, like young boy for real. He be on some other shit. I ain't gonna talk him about and the other dude's speed. Speed too. I don't fuck with him either. They they yeah, like I, I don't fuck with him. Like I respect they hustle and respect they you know they come up, but I don't like I yeah. don't dive into they what they got going on because I just don't. They got agree. too much of that um that playful um, fruity shit going yeah. on for me. Kai Kai kind of stand up. Like what you like. like we got no problem with nobody, but we just don't we just don't agree with it with that. We just don't agree with it. It's just not our cup of tea. That's all. But yeah, man, listen. And then, speaking of fucking screamers and shit, right? It was a female. She was doing an interview with Young and Ace. Young and Ace? From ATK? I know, yeah. I know that. They're doing a little interview, right? How about this bitch? Let's go back to the other story we were talking about with females being ungrateful. She tell him, she he said, I play video games, GTA, and I make 80K a month off playing video games. She said, she was like, making money off playing video games is cringy. That's what she said. Making money off playing video games is cringy. It's like, what the fuck you doing to bring in 80k a month? Let me see your, let me see your, 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 your goddamn bank statement. Let me see. Something. What are, what are you doing? What you got coming in that's bringing in 80k a month? What you doing? You need to be playing some damn video games. What? Like, that's wait, crazy. Did she say what she doing? Cause she, she, nah, they, 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 they pretty much stopped it right there. But the thing is, I know this bitch ain't making no damn 80k a month. Like, the fuck out of here. If you saying video, if you saying that's cringy because he making 80k a month or playing video games, that means your mind in a whole different. Area. I don't know where your mind at, cause this nigga making money just off playing video games. Nigga, that's and the fucking AK, American yeah, dream. People nigga. wanna make that at a job. Nigga, that's the American dream, though. Exactly for playing video games. People that don't make that shit at a job, bro. People make eighty k a, a a year. A, a year. That's what I'm saying. Man, some people, and some people don't make that at a job. That's what I'm saying. That's crazy, bro. I don't get it. I think these people just want to be want to talk. Now, now listen. Hear talk like. Now I bet if he would have, I bet if he would have been like, man, nigga, trapping man, nigga, make eighty k a month. She'd have been like, ooh, all into that, like, all into that all, shit, all up in the man and shit. Then you feel me? Like that mindset, crazy as hell to me, bro. Like that shit, wild. Man, girls don't know what they want. Girls just, especially young girls, they just, they just want what's what's in, what's popping. These material at bitches. that point, at that time, yeah, materialistic <laughs> hoes. Hey man, and I seen something today. I don't know. I, I'm a, you gotta look at that shit. I don't know if you seen it, but it was this dude approached this lady, and he was trying to holler at her, but she walked off. And he was trying to kept trying to talk to her. He was on some, baby, I just want to talk to you. She like, hey, I'm about money. He like, he like, but I'm just trying to talk to you. She said, listen, I'm I'm telling you what I'm about. I'm just about money. I need it. I'm about money. He like, what? But uh, he still. I'm wondering why the nigga still talk to her. She told you what she about. <laughs> But this nigga still trying to talk to her. But what if I was a um uh, somebody who had a business adventure and I wanted and I wanted you to um join in? I had a business adventure uh, for you, or I'm somebody who could be in your life and and make you make mm-hmm. you better and all this other stuff. He's talking to she and at the end of all that saying that she said I understand what you're saying, but I'm I'm just about money. He 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 up to us. Nah. Hey look no no but look he keep going so he asked her how how much. Exactly. He said, uh, exactly. That's, That's all you had to say. What you trying to do? Depends on what you trying to do. Man, you know what I'm trying to do. Like, you know that she said. Then we could discuss it. Like, basically, that was, That's what ended that. Bro, yeah. That's all you had, bro. She said she bought money. Don't talk to all this inspirational shit. She don't want to hear none of that shit at that point. I'm gonna be real. She and told I, you what she bought. And I and I respect and see. I was gonna say that because I respect her for standing on what she said because she bought money and he was saying all the other shit i was finna say he should have told her well how much it is the fuck he should have just kept it real with her. you about money well let's talk about money but she stood on that shit hats off to her she is what she is and buddy need to understand what she is and deal with it like what you gonna do not the bad <laughs> hey i would i, I would have tipped my hat to her said have a nice day madam about money nah for real though when a young when a young lady a lady overall tell you something and she stand up just take it for what it is Hey. You rocking with it or you not? 
but I'm going to shake it up, right? And I'm going to go to NBA, right? Because I got to talk about the goddamn Lakers and the Warriors, right? So let's go. Charles Barkley was basically, you always keep it real out of all the crew. Charles Barkley don't keep it a buck. He was saying basically, why are we always talking about the Lakers and the, and the Warriors? Nobody don't give a damn about them. Like, these people, it's at the bottom nine and ten. Like, they're saying, we don't talk about nobody else in the play in in the East or nobody else down at the bottom, only them two. Kenny was saying, well, you got to understand, if that was Tom Brady in the play-in situation, we'll still be talking about him because that's Tom Brady and he always got a chance. And they were saying that's like Steph and LeBron and all that. So of course, they're going to talk about them. What side you What side you want on that? That's just like when they keep talking about my sorry-ass Cowboys and we don't be doing shit, but they like bringing us up in the topic. I don't want to hear about that shit. Don't talk about a team just because they have... They own um, big organization. They they want a legendary um team. The shit. I don't give a fuck about that. That's just like the Lakers. They do the same thing with the Lakers. They do with the Cowboys. They talk about them too much. They're not playing good. We don't we don't want to hear about that shit. We know they got LeBron on their team. We don't want to hear. But look, when they start winning, talk about them. But they not winning. They just lost it to yeah, the yeah. Nuggets and Bron. What, what he won over uh, forty thousand? Forty thousand points. And I congratulate Braun on that. I congratulate him. I had to shout him out on my story. Put that boy in there. Congratulate Goat James. But at the same time, y'all boys lost. Y'all know, like, y'all still at eight or nine right now. I don't think they're at eight. They're at nine or something. We don't want to keep it pushing. Let's talk about on um, Minnesota. Let's talk about OKC mode. They ain't going to talk Let's about Let's get them. some more publicity on them boys. Exactly. They ain't going to talk about them, bro. The teams that's on, actually... Them, they over Denver right now. We got to talk about them. Exactly, but they ain't gonna talk about the Heat and the Heat that went to the finals the last three out of five years and shit, like four out of five years. Like, they don't talk about the Heat. That's crazy. We talk about Denver. Yeah, they don't talk about Denver. Oh, uh, the Heat, Boston, Minnesota. See? All they wanna do is talk about New York. Y'all the can Knicks. talk about the Clippers, shit. To be honest, but they talk about the, the Knicks. Knicks. The Knicks. They they can talk about the Knicks. The Knicks playing good. But I'm saying they were talking about the Knicks even when they was bad. Like the Knicks gonna be in the news, basically what I'm saying. No matter whether they bad or good. They nah, gonna I don't talk. think the Knicks and I ain't gonna lie, the Knicks not in there. What oh you know what? Well the Knicks is. It's it's um <laughs> Brooklyn that ain't in the news like that. My bad. Exactly. The Knicks, you crazy if you say the Knicks ain't in there, boy. They they, they like the, the so called yeah, yeah, talk about the Knicks. You're right. You're right about that. But nah, as far <laughs> as that though, man, I, I just <laughs> I, I I like the um, I like OKC yo, man. They on, they need to talk about Shy more, man. No, no they, they, they they did they were saying like he in the lead for the MVP race and I agree with that. Like I agree sometimes that. you gotta stop going with these familiar faces just because they familiar faces, dog. Go with who really balled and who really the MVP and lead and they team to a higher level. Like this man on OKC got them boys in the top two in the West. In like the West. in any any lead in the league and scoring. Like what the fuck? That's and everybody counted them out when they lost Russell Westbrook. Everybody counted them out when they lost Russell Westbrook and Paul George. Come on, man. SGA balling, man. He on another level. Nah, them boys good I feel like, man. I ain't gonna lie, I really like the way that he looking too, man. Even though we lost against Nuggets the other we, night. We going, we, going going back and, we going back and forth. We going with back and forth. No? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Man. I'm saying, in the standards, like, the Magic, they right here on our ass, so we going, like, yeah. up and what, what we at, five? We are five and six with the Magic, so right now we, have, we we need we need a couple of more wins to try to but get with to that the, with the Heat, bro. I ain't even worrying about no seed, bro. We ain't even that type yeah, of team. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, it never matters. The shit. Any team that wanna play us, hey, we could be the play. We could play do a play in, goddamn it. At this point, exactly. They know we coming, bro. Nobody don't wanna play us, bro. Like, pause. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> hey, speaking of right there, pause. You hear about that prayer? Oh, I gotta. Yo, I uh, excuse me, I got tongue twisted. I got to get your perspective on this personal trainer story, right? They say that any female or most females that got male personal trainers, like he's smashing. So what do you think about that? I, you, I agree. You agree? That's too much <laughs> to say about that. I agree. I'm talking about... Hey, man, listen. Tom Brady just had got his girl. His girl just started dating a personal trainer. Wife, and yeah. she's been getting trained by him for a couple of years now. Yep, so you already know yeah. what's going on. Yeah. When Tom Brady was like out, they were saying, "Why you can't? Shit, okay, you know what's going on. why you can't get a woman person to train? That is like if I go. No, no, this is my thing. Why they letting them get man person to train? My girl's not getting no man person to train her for what? She's a. That's what I'm saying. They two different. Like I feel like you should go with a woman person to train her. That's 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 on on like on an elite experience level because she can show exactly. you how to a woman's body. How to work as a woman, like, woman body. level. Even though a man can show you that too. That don't get me wrong, but I just feel like it's more appropriate. And that's especially if you married and you know what I'm saying like that. If you single, do what you want to do. 
But if you're in a relationship where you marry, I feel like you should either talk it over with your spouse before you choose your personal trainer, or you should go with the gender that is the same as yours. Like, because that's like me just going, hey, I'm gonna get me a personal trainer, and I go get this fine, thick ass bitch. Like, yep, it's my personal trainer. Like, the fuck? All right. What the fuck? Go. Exactly. No, nah, I'm, I'm not finna. Yeah. I'm not finna uh, let her get no man trainer though. Me personally. Nah. If not she per- asked for a man trainer, that's a. Uh, she like if I get her a woman trainer, she said I want a man hey. trainer. That's a sign for me to let her ask. Hey, imagine you right now calling your girl. She answered. If, she you call her. You talk to her two hours later. And why you want to answer your phone already? Oh, I was with Dante, the, 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 my personal trainer. We was working out. Man, what? So you can't. You, you can't stop. Five you hear him in the. Oh, you hear him in the back. I'll see you next time. Hey, she breathing hard. <laughs> yeah, babe. Me and Dante just had a good workout. <laughs> I bet. I'm going to slap the shit out of you in, Dante. And hey, you know the fucked up part about Tom Brady uh, situation is? Hey, look. <laughs> this is the fucked up part. Right? The, the nigga that took Tom Brady wife, I mean, that took Tom Brady home. She, then you know that nigga was a um, jiu-jitsu, whatever you call it. One of them niggas that know jiu-jitsu. Yeah, whatever you what, say it. Jiu-jitsu. Yeah, he know that shit. So <laughs> Tom Brady can't even approach him on some aggressive shit. Cause this nigga put you in a in a whole fucking move in the suit. Hold what? <laughs> hold your arm. Hold that. Hold your look. That little thing. Oh, your, that little pressure little point. Nerve. Yeah, mm-hmm. pressure point. And, and tell you, you to just... chill out. Dude's crazy around here thinking um they girls cool with um good with personal trainers. Nah, not happening over here, my guy. I hey, bro. Like, you know how we always have a, try to have at least one black history topic in, in our show, right? I want to yeah. speak. It's not nobody from black history, but it's speaking on a black culture and a black subject, right? I want to say something, right? Mm-hmm. Take my glasses off. I do not appreciate people ragging and bragging on Shannon Shaw about that little video he made coming out of the car and talking about he gay and all this shit like that. Let's listen to this, bro. It's a black man that done made it. When that man was before he was on the show and he made it big, nobody wanted to talk about Shannon Shaw. But now that man done made it big. And that man got money, and he getting, like, basically surpassing people that have been in this field of podcasting and all that. Now they hating on him. He in every storyline. People want to call him gay. Like, people want to discount the man. Man, stop all that, man. Let's stop all that. That's a black king. That man coming up. He doing his thing. I respect Shannon Sharp to the fullest. I look up to Shannon Sharp, and I want to aspire to for our podcast to be just like Shannon Sharp's on. So y'all stop all that hating that shit. And get y'all shit together and stop trying to be funny, like for real. The man had hip surgery, and that's why he walked like that. If y'all wanted to really fucking know, if y'all look up shit. So uh, it is what it is. I just had to get it off my chest. Nah, I feel you on that, bro. For, and for me to echo that, I don't, I, I, hey, they could do the jokes and stuff, like the comments, like the Instagram comments. They could do the jokes and stuff. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Like they, they live off jokes, like jokes and jokes. People make people I'm talking laugh. about the people. But that the people that's hating, yeah. People that's, that's not jokesters, and they got their own platforms, and they just, all right, this y'all people, this y'all, I mean, look at them, da da da. Like, y'all, y'all really trying to. Yeah, I ain't talking about them. I ain't talking like, about I ain't talking about Yeah, I know, you, I know you ain't talking about them, but people, I just like, want to clarify. Know they, do. They, they just make it. They just, yeah. they, that, that, that's what I just want to clarify. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. Appreciate nah, it. Nah, for the other people who got their podcasts and joking like that, about the man gay and this and that, man, leave that man alone. That man, like you said, that man played how many years in the NFL? I think it was eight, more than eight, though. Probably 10, 11, something like yeah, that. Whatever. This man played all the years in the NFL. He was a great tight end, still top five to this day. And he and he took a lot of hits, bro. You feel me? A lot of blows out, a lot of blows out there. Blind, blind hits and all type of shit, dog. And this man had two hip replacements, like you said. That's why he walked like that. And the man's swag like, is <laughs> his swag. This man ate his yeah. man big he as like tight first ass. First of all, his shit look tight, but that's an extra large this nigga got on. The nigga big as fuck. This nigga big. This nigga pause. This nigga big as fuck. You feel me? Pause. Oh, y'all can't, every shirt you, every shirt you wear, every shirt you wear gonna look like that, bro. They don't understand. That nigga got a wear. Shannon Shaw got a wear two or three X. To be honest, that's what he wear. He don't want to wear no big. He don't. <laughs> no, I think he he got to wear big and tall three X. Yeah, he baggy tall. shit. That crazy looking shit. He just left the um off the game. These shit. Listen, these be the same niggas walking around with skinny jeans on, bro. Like. Just stop all that, bro. Let that man do it. Like, that's how he dressed. That's how he dressed. Like, for real, for real. And this man, how old Shannon Sharp is? Like, 50? Upper 50? 50 something, bro. The man, the old coon, bro. Come on, man. And this it's man up, look better bro. than y'all niggas. That's 20 something. We ain't finna talk I'm about, about We ain't finna talk about it. alone. Lay up, um, man. I'm glad you brought that up. Lay up, um, we support, hey, we support, um, we, we watch, um, podcast. That shit is very entertaining with him and Chad. 
I like I like um, um cool with him. That was a good one you brought up though, man. A lot of people was fucking with him. You had to go off on them people right quick, dog. Yeah, they had you hot, bro. You okay? Nah, with them? I was fucking. You hot, listen, you all right? I fuck with Shannon Sharp in football. And then I fuck with him when he was undisputed, fucking with Skip Bayless. And to Skip Bayless had to fuck my dog over. I fuck with him when he was on first <laughs> take. And I'm going to be real with you. He's going to branch off first take in a minute because his shit bigger than all that shit. Like, he good. His, like, he, shit, his, his shit, shit is bigger than that. So, he don't need none of that shit. Yes. Yeah, shout, shout out to Shannon Sharp, Uncle Shay, man. Shit doing, he doing numbers, and we aspire to be there like you, my boy. Hey, Shay, we on the way. We need to hey. be on the matter of fact. Put us on a podcast, Shay. Put you on your shit. Seen Mr. You seen Mr. Hater himself, Joe Bud, talking about the rap girl, the rap game dead, the rap girl wave is dead. Oh, he said the, the rap girl. He said the rap girl wave over. How the rap girl wave dead and it's over, and that shit about as bad as it, I mean, about as fire as it ever been. Like, just be real. I don't know, man. Joe, Joe just be saying some shit sometimes. He just want to hear the news. That's all it is, bro. I don't even, I don't even you know. You can't, you that. can't, you can't. But I just want to say, I brought this topic up not to shine light on Joe Button, but to more so praise the women in the rap game because I want to shout out to all the women in the rap game that's doing their thing. Like, I ain't going to name them because I don't want to forget none, but shout out to all y'all from the big ones to the small ones to the up and coming artists. Shout out to Nikki, the uh, Megan, man, man, we ain't got Cardi, the names, man. The Lotto, a lot of to sexy. Don't forget some. So. So um, <laughs> what's up? What's the Ice Spice Gorilla? So um, nah, you talking about no name? I got them, and I got them in my head. So um, Low Millie, I think that's her name. You just uh, naming all the ones that's at the top. You ain't naming none of the, the forgotten ones. Well, I bet you one for the name Amaretta. I bet you one for the sale. I want to say I'm a red, but I was going to hey, I'm I was saying, going to, it's in general, bro. All the female, female rappers, like you said, exactly, bro. Because I ain't trying to get no name. Rappers. I want to respect and give and give respect to all of them, praise to all of them, bro. Like real shit. But yeah, no, nah, I don't know. Joe just, you know, Joe want to make that. Joe want to make the headlines, man. Yeah, Joe like making headlines. I don't pay Joe no attention. Hey, but he, he be making them though. I give him that much, <laughs> but that's crazy shit he be saying. Yeah, but I ain't gonna lie, the mate the, the mate the what's the name? The the news and all that that be the fucking um viral go viral. You gotta fucking say Con- dumb shit. Controversy. You gotta say toxic shit. Dude, you gotta just say off the wall shit. Like 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 hey, like sex like you gotta say shit like man, since sex you had that baby, she her music is not gonna be fine no more. You gotta say <laughs> shit like that. For real. That's you, gotta you gotta say gotta shit say. like you gotta say shit like if Diddy doing all that fuck shit, his sons is too. That's some wild <laughs> shit to even say, boy. I ain't gonna lie. But yeah, nah, but we get around to that point. Yeah, niggas gotta say wild shit to make the do. We ain't gotta do that, bro. We ain't saying no nah, man, anything, we man. man. We telling y'all how we, we feel, keep this man. Shit we ain't real, saying bro. anything. We keeping that nah, shit real. I'm tired of them no fucking is. with um, Diddy, too, man. They need to lay off. Not, off. not lay off Diddy, but lay off Meek. They keep fucking with Meek with that Diddy shit, man. Nah, hold on, though. Meek, Meek need to lay off his damn set. Meek doing too much, too, dog. Meek need to just stop all that tweeting and shit. He doing too much tweeting, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. If y'all pay, if y'all look at it, that's what he always do. What's new? When when somebody talking shit about or somebody said something about him, he go off the wall. But he wrote a that's paragraph, like do. three paragraphs, bro. That's what he do. If you bro, if you look at big history, that's I what he do. That was it. I don't yeah, really I'm follow not, it like that. It's not that. new to me. If you saying that's what he always do, when people renting his name, then I can respect that. That's that he, he he doing what that's he always what he do. Always do. But he if you don't always do that shit. Like, and he decided to take no, this no, topic he and go off like that. He, I don't know. It's like and that nigga. Team, hold on. And then another thing, bro. What, what's up with uh, AB? AB, AB on a lot of like green ass shit. I ain't gonna even lie. To. I gotta call it. Man, out. AB, high, AB be high as high as fuck. And I don't regularly think AB, y'all weed all weed off type of shit. That's that CTE, bro. Let's call it what it is, bro. It's that, but that nigga be high as fuck, bro. Not high of just regular shit I'm talking about. He be that high. man I'm talking about me talking about some what dreams and nightmares really about. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. What? Uh, A B wrote on the tweet that's on what dreams and nightmares really about. That's some wild man, shit. Off the wall, dog. A B definitely off the wall. A B gone, man. That boy fried. His brain fried. That's it for A B. A B talk. Hey, you over here? You know who who I hate here talking? And this not on the hating shit. I just I don't like the A B talk because he sound he just be dragging, and I hate the hell Lil Wayne talk. It's like nah, something Lil, Lil Wayne, Wayne throat. I hate hearing Lil Wayne talk. I don't know it's why like, they got him on TV like that, bro. That's embarrassing, bro. Like, I ain't gonna, that's uh, the goat. I, 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 think, goat Skip, rapper. I think Skip just bring him on TV. That's his boy. Like, this is my black friend. That is. This my black friend. That's, that's the way to get the black viewers. That's that's his plug. That's his connection. 
This is my black friend, y'all. Come watch Bruh. um Undisputed. That's why he always kept a black partner, a black co-host, because it keeps mm. a, a certain demographic tied into it. Because ever since Shannon left, I have not watched First Take. I don't watch that shit no more. Even with, with Lil Wayne on there. I, I ain't gonna it. lie, bro. I don't, I don't watch shit. First Take. I used to not first take um undisputed. undisputed undisputed. I used to watch undisputed when Shannon was on there, but it's not enough. I ain't, I ain't. Fuck I'm gonna be real though. It made us this. It wasn't nothing like him and Stephen A. When him and Stephen A. was together, that was the best show yeah. ever. That, 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 was, that was. was. I ain't gonna lie, but him and Shannon did good though. I ain't they lie. did. Shannon, now they did, Shannon, but, but legendary. Cowboy. Him and Stephen A. were legendary. With Shannon and Stephen A. They the same. They the same. That's why it don't hit. They both yeah. hate the Cowboys. They, they both, both hate the Cowboys. You need somebody that love the Cowboys on that, all. You got to. You get a real Cowboy. That make, it, that make the show better. That made the show, because them niggas went skip. Went skip. Cowboys the win skipper. All right, yeah, Cowboys yeah. and... Then, now that would be going I'm crazy. Going crazy, but I ain't going to lie. That crack is kind of insane. Skip is insane kind of to me, dog. My diet do and all type <laughs> of shit he used to say. But, hey, skip. What, what Shannon say? Skip. <laughs> skip. Skip. Hey, but for real though, man, I just want to say this before we end the show, man. We still appreciate y'all still tapping in, keeping in touch with us, keeping up with our videos, like, sharing, subscribing. You know what I'm saying? Keeping us afloat, man, because we fuck with y'all, man. We can't do it without y'all. We will not do it without y'all. Mm -hmm. Can't stop, won't stop. Bad boys for life, baby. <laughs> hey, hey, no, hold on, hold on, bro. Hold on, hold on. Don't tap out yet. We got to go. Oh. Hold on. Before we out of here, Put these albums in order. Which I, there's only three albums. Put these in your order from favorite to least favorite. These albums I'm gonna throw out there real quick. We got the Carter Two. Mm -hmm. We got College Dropout. Kanye. Um, mm -hmm. Let me start over. The Carter Two, Lil Wayne. Just in case you don't know. Uh, College Dropout, Kanye West, and mm -hmm. the Recession. Jeezy. You go first. Uh, all right. I'm gonna start with. Okay, I'm gonna start with the Carter. The car to two, number one. Okay, the car to two. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Jeezy. That shit like Jeezy. That Jeezy shit, number two. That, that shit carried me to some times during that time. Like that was some. That was some that time. Was, and them times. It was recession around that time. Yeah. That's why. You know. Then Kanye, of course. So that's my order. Lewayne, car to two, Jeezy, recession, and Kanye, college dropout. Okay, so I'm going. So my order is, this was a tough one. I ain't gonna lie to you, cause all of them could easily be number one. But we gotta pick, so I'm finna pick. So my, my first one, there's some heavy thought. No, I ain't going no order. I'm gonna go from three to one. So three, I'm gonna go to Carter. Mm. Yeah, the Carter is number three. <laughs> the Carter two, the Carter two is number three. Um, uh, number two spot. Kanye. The number two spot. Kanye. I know you going to Jeezy number one. Try to drop out. And number oh, one is the recession, baby. So that shit got by at least all it got the whole album bangers, man. Nah, you can go through that whole shit and be recession, recession up, man. Like, Come on, recession. But it's hard for me to put that over Carter too, dog. No, I ain't gonna lie, bro. But listen, when you think it depends, about it, dog. I don't know. It depends. But I like it Carter depends too. on your mood. Hey, hold on. You know what I'm gonna say, bro? It depends on your mood. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know, Jeezy got a lot of amped up shit. If you want to chill and vibe, I think the Carter, the Carter Two definitely got them chill songs on there. Mm -hmm, and the exactly. Recession got the amped up song. And with Kanye, you could kind of go in the middle. You, he kind of in the, but he kind of like on um, Wayne because he got the yeah. chill out songs. Feel me? But Jeezy got choice. straight listen, bangers. Like he just straight. Listen, listen. I got something to say. That ain't a bad choice. But on no world and no way possible can you ever have Lil Wayne last on any list. So I said you gotta go recession, Carter two, then Kanye. Cause it's Wayne my can't list. Be last on nobody list. list. You can never put Lil Wayne list. last on no list. I'm sorry, look, I will look, not let Lil that Wayne, go by. Look, I ain't gonna lie, Lil Wayne ain't coming last on my list in a lot of places. But I will not let that go by. I no. ain't gonna lie to you. I fuck. We're with not gonna be the I, first I show to have. And I fuck with recession, bro. <laughs> I could go. I could just let that shit play all the way through. So I'm sorry. And and, and right. on college dropout, I could I could let that down and play all the way through. I could let the Carter two play all the way through too, but that's my order, man. Jeezy first, Kanye second, and Wayne third. Hey, hey, one more thing, one more thing, man. That hat, what that is. Tell me about oh, that hat. So this is my this is my boy hat, man. Let me, let me turn the blow off real quick. I like okay, that. Boom. This is my Blazing. boy hat. Stay, stay true. true. 
Then they got the palm tree, like it's represent Miami. What that say on the side, bro? Yeah, it's a heart. Like what it say right there? Want the it say, oh shit, I ain't gonna see what it say. Oh, journey. Journey. Okay, that's what's up. I like yeah, that. Yeah, man. So y'all tap in. If y'all want to tap in, colors? My own. they got different colors. Yeah, he got it. In, he got it in different colors. He got a, it's another okay. one right here. Y'all tap in, man. Y'all tap in. Uh, y'all tap in and stay true. And we gonna drop his um uh, his his link. I mean, not his link, but his uh, his um Instagram. Gonna drop it on our uh, in our uh, in um info. Yes, sir. In the bio, not in the in the bio. We gonna drop it so y'all cop the hat. So y'all go ahead and fuck with that, man. We appreciate y'all once again. We gonna end the night. And we gonna end it like this. Shit, that was a long one.